Welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. One of the best parts about doing this job, we get to meet so many awesome people, but perhaps the person that stood out the most during all of our times here at KXLY, Jace Malik. He was an incredible person, athlete at West Valley, then went on to play at Idaho. Unfortunately, lost his life far too soon. But to honor Jace, we've made a, a name, an award in his honor, the Jace Malik Award for Toughness. We want to know about a player, a coach, anyone involved with the team in our area and why they display toughness just like Jace Malik did. If you know that kind of person, send us an email to sports at kxly.com. Again, that email is sports at kxly.com. You know who's happy on Christmas and September night? Everybody. Just about everybody. You know what makes <laughs> defensive coordinators happy? That's right, Freeman High School football. <laughs> Let's get to the gridiron. Scotty's Cougars action tonight as Freeman hopes Chuila. Second drive of the game for the Scotties. The lefty QB Desmond Prashido finds Keegan Cottrell in the end zone. That puts the, the, the extra point, I should say, is good for an early 7-0 lead. Next drive for Freeman. Prashido again throws it deep, and Andrew McGill juggles it, but he's going to haul, haul it into the goal line. Christmas came early for Mr. McGill. McGill a few steps short of the touchdown so this quarterback gives him another chance mcgill delivers over a chihuahua defender as you can see there it was 14 nothing then scotties hold on to win by a count of 28 to 6. you may recall last year we had medical lakes band come in for friday night sports extra on band night them in the student section with the cardinals top notch they get an a every single week they're one of my favorite places to go because of things like this student section in the holiday spirit you can spot the hats in there loving it oh but it was the newport grizzlies that came to town and played the role of grinch tug smith on the punt return cuts it back tries to steal christmas he takes medical legs packages boxes and bags he even took the roast beast that's not nice. Touchdown for the Grizz, 7-0 early. Medical Lake trying to get on the scoreboard. Caleb Vincent breaks a couple tackles coming right at you. Going to take a big hit at the end of this. Look out, but it's good enough for a first down, but the drive would stall. Next position for the Grizzlies, extending their lead. Danny Bradbury rhymes with Cadbury, and you eat those at Christmas. Dives into the end zone. Newport goes on the road. They win it big, 48 zip. A lot of folks have been complaining about how boring the NFL has been so far this season. That wasn't the case last night on Thursday Night Football, but if Roger Goodell was out in Cheney tonight, he would have loved the game. This was a defensive struggle. Not too thrilling between Eisenhower and Cheney. Hope you like defense in this one. That, that's all we got for you. Jacob McGarren on the sack for the Blackhawks. This game was scoreless at the half. Second half, Cheney breaking out the trickeration, but it turns into a lump of coal. Eisenhower recovers the fumble, turnover, still scoreless. Not to worry, Genie's defense was still stout. Drew Cornegay throws it downfield, but it's intercepted by Peyton Putney. Keeps it scoreless late in the third quarter. Finally, a bit of offense here. This is Cornegay, keeps it himself, goes up the middle, 6-0, and that was your final score. Eisenhower makes the trip and beats Genie. Well, I had quite a trek, as we mentioned earlier today, and uh, went out to Ritzville for the first time and uh, trying to lean on this, and I don't want to break it, but uh, we'll take you out to Ritzville, where they took on Colfax. This was another low-scoring game. These fans were so excited to be on TV. Colfax driving here, quarterback Brett Kincaid with a bootleg, then finds Derek Ward on the outside, takes a big hit, but that drive would stall. Colfax comes calling again. Kincaid rolls out around, but gets brought down. Next play, Colfax on the move again. This one will do good enough to get him into the red zone, sets Colfax up, and Kincaid, he is just too good with that fake, that hand, fake handoff. He fooled me with the camera, finds Mason Miller in the end zone for six. That put Colfax up by one. Colfax goes on to win this one 12-6. Well, we've used uh, this Christmas theme as a pretty good excuse to hide our true emotions tonight. Coming up, we'll tell you what we're all feeling. And this it's is a sadness. Because this is fake. Christmas comes in September each year. Christmas comes in September each year. Merry Christmas.